afternoon and welcome to the live stream of the Portage College Virtual Convocation 2022. Thank you for inviting us into your homes on this very special day. I would like to begin by acknowledging that this virtual gathering is being broadcasted from the traditional lands of First Nation peoples, the owners of Treaty 6, which are also homelands to Métis people. We wish to honour all the First Peoples who have lived and gathered on these lands. I would now like to introduce you to a very special rendition of O Canada, specifically arranged by David Paul for Portage College. After David, Pastor Chiwelli will be providing an opening prayer for convocation. If you are able, please stand for O Canada and for the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we bow our heads before you with hearts full of gratitude for helping each and every one of these students reach this milestone. We realize that the last couple of years have not been easy due to COVID and other factors, but thank you, Father, for helping them reach this end. We thank you, Father, not only for the students, but for the staff of this great institution and their families who have made great sacrifices to ensuring that this day become a reality. We thank you for this new beginning and for the joy in finished aims and goals. We thank you for what lies ahead of them, the opportunity to put into practice the knowledge and skills they have acquired during their time here at Portage College. We pray for the graduates we ask that you guide them to their destinies. Please help them use all that they've learned here to make the world a better place, to save their communities, and to always seek the greater good. We now ask that your blessing be on this ceremony. May it be meaningful to the graduates and their families. We ask in your name, amen. You may have noticed that that wasn't exactly your average version of O Canada. David arranged this song in honor of the diversity of Portage College by singing in six languages, English, French, Russian, Ukrainian, Cree, and Arabic. And with the help of Jamie Davies was able to arrange that performance. Thank you also to Pastor Chiwelli for providing the opening prayer. Your words continue to be a source of inspiration for us. Convocates, elders, family, friends, honored guests, and supporters, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's ceremony as we gather to celebrate the success of our class of 2022. My name is Carrie Froler. I am the Vice President of People Planning and Public Relations and will be your host this afternoon as we proceed on our interactive virtual journey. But before we begin, let's talk about this virtual experience. You may wonder why, as things were starting to open up, our convocation is still virtual. When we began planning for convocation, things were not completely open, so a decision was made to have a blended version of convocation. And as a result, we are very fortunate to have our governance and leadership team and faculty join us live in the audience this year to watch the virtual convocation on the screen. 
We also have our small and mighty broadcast team on hand to make this experience seamless and to help facilitate the chat feature. We would like to encourage your participation in this afternoon's ceremony. While you will be muted, please feel free to use the clapping hands icon or the chat feature to send messages of congratulations to your fellow classmates or someone at Portage College that helped you along the way. Because we can't be together to hear all the applause, be sure to hold your hands in view of the screen and clap anyway. You can switch to your gallery view so that you can see everyone applauding. So if any time you want to applaud, just hold your hands up and clap to the screen. So let's do a practice of our online applause and the waving of our hands. In early May, our staff diligently worked to create a special convocation memory box that was mailed to each graduate who RSVP'd to attend convocation. The celebration box contained a cap, tassel, and other mementos that you would have received in person. Graduates, if you would like to experience the true essence of convocation, feel free to grab the cap and tassel out of the box and wear it proudly during this afternoon's ceremony. We'd love to see you wearing your cap. And we can see many have already put it on. This virtual ceremony will have many of the same components as the traditional ceremony would have had. Our website will also act as a companion site to the ceremony. The website will contain links to videos you will see, as well as videos from faculty, staff, and students sending congratulations. Our goal this afternoon is to create an online experience and convocation memory for you, the class of 2022. In a traditional convocation, you would have seen the governance and leadership team on stage ready to shake your hand as you walked across. It's now my pleasure to introduce them to you. Our Board of Governors Chairman, Mr. Randy Benson. Oh, our Chief Executive Officer, Ms. Nancy Broadbent. Our Vice President, Academic and Research, Dr. Donna Fletichuk. Our Vice President, College and Student Services, Bev McGrabby. Our Chief Financial Officer, Cynthia Quintel. And of course, you've already met me. The college is very fortunate to have a very dedicated group of volunteers that make up our Board of Governors, and some of them are in attendance today. I will read out their names and would also like to thank them for the dedication to Portage College. Mr. Ted Langford, Ms. Ruth Eiley, Mr. Brian Ruddick, Ms. Donna Webster, Mr. Ron Young, Mr. Jeff Saunder, Mr. Doug Ferguson, Ms. Peggy Townsend, Ms. Linda Salstrom, Dr. Patricia Makokas, and Ms. Molly Fighton. And now to bring a message from the Board of Governors, I'd like to introduce and invite Chairman Randy Benson to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. The first thing I'd like to touch on is just something a little more personal and just to say how inspirational it is to see all the names that have passed on the screen here today. It's, uh, it's one of the greatest experiences, Board Chair, that I'm going to miss when I'm gone, but uh, the graduation ceremony each year is, is a wonderful one. On to business. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I'd like to congratulate each of you on the academic success that you've achieved this year and which we are here to celebrate. I know each of you have overcome obstacles and challenges to be here, but I applaud your efforts to keep your, ed keep your educational priority in what have been exceptional times. Congratulations again. I know for many of you, your road here is a personal one and that there is much left to do. But it's worth acknowledging that the purpose of this college in all of its many years, in all of its many forms, has always been to serve students with a view to their success. In other words, there would be no college without student success. We have, I would submit, a very strong record of our students positively contributing to the economy, their communities, and our country and I am confident that this class will carry that tradition on. With respect to nearer prospects, I am also pleased to report on behalf of the college that our graduates surveyed from last year had the following successes. 85% were satisfied with their education from the prior year in spite of the challenges that arose from COVID. Secondly, 81% were working in a training related job within six months of graduation the highest since 2012 and 2013. 
So with jobs picking up and the emphasis on work integrated learning, these numbers should just get better and better for us and for you. Historical data also suggests that this may not be the last stop on your post-secondary journey. I'm told that one third of the students will be returning to post-secondary. We, as a college, are also actively pursuing more options for you to continue your studies at home, which means here, which include degree completion and pre-apprenticeship programming, among others. Once again, I am looking forward to, if only as an observer next year, when we can all get together and feel the energy that's in the room. Uh, one of my favorite memories is shaking hundreds of hands on those uh, previous graduation days, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's a wonderful experience to get to meet you face to face. But for the time being, this will have to do. All the best in the future on behalf of the Board of Governors. Uh, and uh, have a very good day. Have some fun out there. Celebrate with one another. And uh, thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. I'd like to invite President and Chief Executive Officer of the Portage College, Nancy Broadbent, to the podium to bring greetings from the college. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Convocation 2022, a hybrid ceremony, as we begin, uh, uh, as we are being very careful. Convocation is one of the best times of the year at our college. It is the day we can truly celebrate the achievements of our students and express our gratitude for all those of you who have supported, who have supported you while you were studying. Over the past few years, your instructors have, were called upon for an extreme level of creativity as we pivoted, moved online, moved back to class, blended our delivery methods. They did all this to keep your education engaging and to ensure that you had the very best uh, chance to arrive at today. Please, let's show our appreciation of your instructors. Let's give them a wave. Might I also invite you to express gratitude to those of you that worked, who worked with you to provide academic support in areas like the library, learning services, counseling, your program coordinators, and your deans. Let's give all of them a wave. As you may, uh, may or may not know, there were also many service providers working to keep your experience positive and keep the administration of the college humming along. Without everyone pulling on our cart, our college just wouldn't be the same. Thank you to all of you. And of course, your family and friends were there for moral support, to perhaps watch over your children while you studied, prepare a meal so you could cram. Let's take a minute and just give all of our family and friends a wave. My hope in pointing out all these folks is not only so that we can appreciate the support that they've given to you, but it's also to remind you that you have a very special support network of people. As you move through life's journey, we know I want you to know that we're all here for you. Call upon your network as your future continues and continue to build new ones. It will always be part of your success. The college history books are full of successful people like you. I know that you will be a great asset to your community and to your employers. You are a voyageur, and after all, you will always be a voyageur. You traversed difficulty, you entered uncharted territory, and you made it to the other side. The river may have wandered a bit, but you didn't get lost, and that's because you stayed focused on the next landing spot. This is perhaps the most valuable lesson that you have learned while you're with us. Stay strong, stay focused on the landing spots and successes will come. Today, students, please do take time to pause and celebrate you. I know you made many sacrifices and I know that you were very, very busy. When life gets too busy, the beauty of the journey can be lost. Pause breathe, appreciate the moments of victory, pat yourself on the back, do it right now, you've done it. I wish each and every one of you 
many, many positive experiences in your future. Our mission was to connect you with knowledge, skills, and experience, and now you are empowered to take on the rest. Thank you for choosing Portage College. Thank you for all your hard work to get here today. Congratulations, Convocates of 2022. Thank you, Nancy. Today, we proudly come together as one big family from across the region and into your homes to celebrate our success and achievements. An important part of your college education is access to the College Awards Program. These awards make an important difference in the lives of Portage College students. The difference between the ability to focus on school rather than financial problems. Many of you will be receiving your awards shortly in the mail. The college has distributed over $630,000 in awards this academic year. These awards would not be possible without the gener uh, generosity of our donors and supporters. You'll be able to see all of the names that make up our award program possible on the website. Graduates, you may have noticed that during your time here at Portage, you would have had to fill out a survey or two, a point of ex entry survey, point of exit survey, learning evaluations, and soon to come graduate surveys, just to name a few. These are so important because when you fill out these surveys, we are able to collect important facts. You might be interested to know that 87% of last year's graduating class is working, the majority full-time in the field they trained for. Those that were not working were pursuing further education. And we don't just stop at surveying our students, we survey employers as well. Employers indicated that they are extremely satisfied with Portage graduates as well with 99% of those surveyed indicating that they would hire another Portage grad. And not only did they indicate that they would hire another grad, they also indicated that they would recommend a Portage College grad to other employers. Just think, that could be you. This is reassuring for you as you continue your journey, knowing that your Portage College credentials are recognized and will serve you well. It is a Portage College tradition that the college honors an honorary convocate to represent the graduating class. Honorary degrees from Portage College are given to those for their work in community and their continued promotion of the college. It is now time for our President and Chief Executive Officer, Nancy Broadbent, to introduce our two honorary convocates. Thank you, Carrie. I am very honored to be celebrating with our honorary convocates this afternoon. The ladies that we have chosen to uh, recognize this afternoon are two people that are band members from Frog Lake Cree Nation, and they have been partners with Portage for more than 25 years. These ladies are so committed to supporting educational and work experience opportunities for the members of their community. Whether it was searching for funding to bring in customized program delivery, finding job placements for su students, or supporting the students through their academic and personal challenges, they have been there all the way. I want to acknowledge that prior to their roles uh, in their particular community, we worked with a member of their family who paved the partnership path that we've been journeying on all these years, Norman C. Quinney who is with the Creator now, is the brother of our honorees, and he was instrumental in having the college as a permanent fixture in the community. I personally met Shirley about 11 years ago. I found her to be quiet, deeply spiritual, and a very caring person with an unending commitment to bettering her community. As well as her extreme dedication to students, she also supports her community with spiritual and cultural guidance. Her sister Lorraine joined us at those meetings in her role in social development, and she's had very strong ties to the education programs that we're doing, mostly, mainly funding students, but also filling out lots of grant funding and finding opportunities for our students. 
Um, I have found her also to be very caring and generous, and she's a little tough on us as she's steadfast at holding the college accountable to meet her community needs. It has been an extreme pleasure to work with these two ladies all these years. I warn you that the video you're about to see is quite emotional and you will experience the passion and commitment of these two wonderful people. I'm just so excited to be granting honorary parchment in community development to Shirley Machuinis and Lorraine Quinney. Please join me in congratulating Shirley and Lorraine and thanking them for their many years of dedication. Everyone, um, I'd like to, to thank Nancy for honoring myself and my sister for the services that we do and we're gonna cry, make me cry, but I'm very honored in accepting this award. I've been with the services, with the community for 43 years now and I have not received an award for all these years I've worked, but I am very grateful for, for the Portage College staff to be thinking of me as a special person to with with the students that we have worked with and i like to congratulate all the students that were successful in completing all the programs this year and the previous years thank you very much nanaskuman Nanaskuma Mamo Tawiman Simi An honorary parchment for what we do for our community. I congratulate all the students that have completed. We are very proud of our community and we work hard for everybody to get an education because they deserve to get an education. I thank all of you for recognizing us, my sister and I. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy, and congratulations to both Lorraine and Shirley on your well-deserved honour. As you prepare to embark on your new journey, whether it be to continue your studies or start your new career, it is customary to have a fellow student provide words of inspiration to you and to have a faculty member provide a response. It is my honour to introduce and welcome our student speaker this year, Caitlin Manuel, and our faculty chair, Dr. Gail Heyer. Caitlin Manuel is currently the president of the Student Association. She couldn't be here with us today, but she has recorded a message for us. Welcome friends, family, faculty, and students. First and foremost, I just wanna say a big congratulations to the students here today that are graduating. I would also like to say a big thank you to our executives and our instructors here at Portage College. I know many of us students wouldn't have made it to this point without all your support. Thank you. It has been an honor to represent the student body of Portage College this past year as president of the Students Association. So congratulations, uh, student and best wishes to you on your new adventure ahead. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Gail Heyer, who will offer a response to Caitlin on behalf of the faculty. Gail is the chair of the Faculty Association and an instructor at the college. Good afternoon, graduates 
and all those who have gathered to support you. Here we are once again, standing at the edge of your future, in a world where we have been reminded of the beautiful irony that change is a constant. The past few years have shown us that unexpected change can come rapidly. Not only has change occurred for you as an individual going to college, but it has also occurred for those close to you watching you pursue your goal. The person you are today attending these convocation ceremonies is not the same person who walked through the doors, either physically or virtually, at the beginning of your journey. And that took courage. In addition, change has occurred on a much wider scale for your community and for the world. We've experienced what may seem an unprecedented change in how we've approached post-secondary education and many other cultural institutions because of the global pandemic. Of course, many other changes, small and on grander scales, have taken place outside of our college community and which may have affected you individually or perhaps your family or your community. It is through change, however, that we are presented with opportunity. Opportunity is what you have gained by accepting the change of being a student. Opportunity has opened the door for you to a new future as a college graduate. And opportunity awaits you as you move in a new direction. While change may bring discomfort and challenge, I encourage you to embrace it and look for the many opportunities it brings. Thank you, Convocates, for the sacrifices that you've made on your journey. Thank you for making your post-secondary educational path an important choice for you and your family. And thank you for believing in Portage College and its faculty to help you achieve that goal. Encourage those who follow you, those whom you influence, to make the same wise choice to attain greater knowledge, to find opportunity in change, for it is through better understanding that we will grow our community and our families together. It is my hope that your journey has inspired you to continue to be courageous, to speak out for those who are unable to sound their voices, to help those who need assistance with finding peace or equality, justice or closure. It is my hope that you continue to embrace change and create opportunity towards the betterment of our society. On behalf of Portage College, congratulations to the graduates of 2022. Thank you, Caitlin, and thank you, Gail. The college certainly appreciates the work that the faculty do to support our students and represent the college. Our faculty and staff are amazing, and we were proud to note that you noticed that too. In our last survey, it was reported that more than 81% of students would recommend Portage College to others and would recommend their program of study. I would now like to introduce and thank the deans and associate deans who work with the faculty every day to ensure that our students are receiving quality education in over 30 programs. Traditionally, it would have been the deans that had the honor of presenting you with your parchment. In lieu of presenting you with your parchment, we will introduce each dean and associate dean and have them say a few words to you on behalf of their faculties. Representing the Faculty of Health, Human Services, Business, International, Teaching, Learning, and Applied Research, Dean Robin Tizard and Associate Dean Shauna Hami. Robin will now say a few words. Good afternoon. When I was preparing this year, I was thinking of mountains. As someone who grew up in field British Columbia, I really appreciate the efforts needed to climb to the summit, the hours of training to build endurance, preparing for the climb, and the focus need to pers persevere to the top. This experience is similar to post-secondary. I'm sure all year long, you've been training and acquiring new skills. You've spent hours prepping for the final exam, and today, you've reached the Convocation Summit. When I was doing my internet searches, I came across two famous rock climbers. One's the Canadian, and his name is Marc-Andre Leclerc, and one is an American climber, and his name is Alex Honnold. 
Mark said, I don't want to sound grim or fatalistic. It's undeniable, you know. Every time you go into the mountains, it could be your last time. So all the things you love, you have to appreciate. What, whatever dinner you want, it may be your last dinner, and you better eat it because you're going to the mountains. In response, Alex said, that last supper, yeah, that feeling's familiar. Acknowledging that your life is finite and it's going to end at some point. It does help you become intentional with life. And it's really one of the true values. It reminds you that the rest of your time is precious and you should take every opportunity to live the life that gives the most meaning. So on this convocation day, I hope you take a moment to appreciate your successes, embrace the moments filled with love and wonder, enjoy as many, 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 many last meals as you possibly can, surrounded by those who enrich in your life. So we are at the top of the mountain. I've reached a couple of them in my time. And when I get to the top of the mountain, there's one thing that I've always done. And that is I put my hands to my mouth and I yell a big woo-hoo, a big woo-hoo. And I'm going to get my lovely group here all dressed in their robes to give a combined woo-hoo to our convocants. So we're doing a one, two, three, woo-hoo. Are we ready? No, so, no, no, you guys are too quick. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and everybody at the, so one, two, three. Woo-hoo! Congratulations, may your future be bright. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. And now representing the Faculty of Education, Arts and Culture and University Studies, Dean Donald Moore and Associate Dean Stephanie Solars. And now Don will try and top Robin with a few words. <laughs> Thanks for that, Robin. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. I would like to begin by once again acknowledging the graduates and the work that they have done to arrive here today. It is with great honor that I stand before you, or stream to you, as the Dean of Education, Arts and Culture, and University Studies to celebrate your achievements. Through a tumultuous year filled with unique and unexpected hurdles, you have persevered and remained steadfast in your goals. Despite anxiety, distraction, exhaustion, and a plethora of other potentially derailing challenges, you have succeeded. And in doing so, you have prepared yourself to enter the world all the more ready. Graduates, as you think back on your time at Portage College, I would ask you to think of the challenges you faced, the obstacles you overcame, and the barriers broken. While these were no doubt hard, I want you to consider what newfound strengths and skills these challenges brought you. An emerging artist, working with a delicate new medium, develops patience. A scholar studying a complex scientific concept develops note-taking. A disagreement in a work placement develops empathy. It is through these difficult moments that we stretch, we grow, and we come back all the stronger. In another life, when I was working with the Department of National Defense, after a challenging day, a Navy officer used to remind me a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Storms come and storms go, but the toughest lessons and most challenging assignments often give us the best experiences. Graduates, I share this with you in the hopes that as you return to the world outside of Portage College, you keep this in mind. Each wonderful and unique challenge presents us with an opportunity to grow. As graduates, you have conquered many storms to get here and come out all the more skilled. Know that as you prepare for your next adventure. Thank you.
Thank you, Don. And now representing the Faculty of Environmental Sciences, Trades and Technology, Dean Alberti. Tansay and Nichwagen, and hello, have, and uh, welcome everybody. Uh, I am the Dean of Environment, Trades and Technology, and uh, I don't wear a tie very often, and I just want you to take note of that. When I was growing up, I grew up in the bush on a farm, and uh, my mom always said, we only wear a tie for church, and for funerals, and for weddings, and obviously now for graduation. So, because we're not in any church here right now, that's for sure. Um, uh, I'm not very philosophical. The other two deans had quotes and stuff, so I'm going to try a quote that my grandfather used to tell me, and that's, any job worth doing is doing right. And by the 209 people on the screen and all the names that have been scrolling through, you guys did it right. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing Portage College. Hope it's the foundation of your learning. Good day, everybody. Thanks, Al. And we're really happy to see you in your tie today. These people lead a remarkably talented group of faculty of which we are so proud. Our fa faculty are highly credentialed with a range of doctorates, masters, bachelor's degrees, diplomas, and journeyman certificates. They provide a wealth of experiential knowledge to their students, providing personalized learning pathways and supports every day. I would like to remind the graduates to check our convocation website for all of the FIP grid messages that have been posted from our faculty and staff. As the pandemic continued into this year, our faculty and staff continued to go above and beyond spending countless hours in front of the screen and behind the screen, turning traditional face-to-face -face courses into teachable virtual learning experiences for you. From home offices, living rooms, kitchen tables, and ironing boards, our faculty rose to the challenge of successfully delivering online programming in our programs, proving that our faculty always have the needs of the students front and foremost. We couldn't be prouder of them. Let's give them a round of applause to all of the faculty and staff who helped support you through your journey at Portage College. And now for the exciting part of our program, the moment you've all been waiting for, the turning of the tassels, the point of the ceremony when it's official, you have graduated. Graduates, get your caps on and make sure your tassels are hanging on your right. And if you are watching with a group, you might like to have someone turn your tassel for you, or you can certainly turn it yourself. I'd now like to invite Dr. Donna Faletichuk, Vice President of Academic and Research to the podium to provide a message to the graduates about our Portage traditions. Donna? Good afternoon, graduates. At Portage College, as well as other post-secondary institutions, it is a tradition that students cross the stage at convocation ceremony wearing a formal gown, cap, and tassel. You also see the faculty and other staff wearing gowns today. It is customary for instructors to wear academic robes that represent their alma mater or their current post-secondary. The academic regalia of an instructor includes robes or gowns, a hood for doctorates, or a V-stole for master's or bachelor degrees, and a cap which is sometimes optional depending on the institution. The gown of instructors varies depending on the level of scholarship attained, and they wear the robes reflecting their credentials. At Portage College, I would have had the honor of turning the tassel for each graduate. Now you may be wondering what the turning of the tassel means. This is a meaningful age-old tradition. The caps and tassels are symbolic items in the convocation ceremony. The tassel is worn on the right side when the student enters a convocation ceremony, and then during the ceremony, the tassel is moved to the left. This symbolizes a transition from student to graduate, and this is a very significant and proud moment. During our convocation program, I won't be able to physically turn each of your tassels. However, we will, do it this, we will do this together virtually. If you are sitting with a group, you might ask someone to turn your tassel for you. Graduates, get your caps on. Make sure your tassels are hanging to the right, and let us now take the opportunity to turn the tassel. Take hold of the tassel and move it from your right to your left.
presenting the presenting the class of 2022. The college has had a long-standing tradition of having a cap toss immediately following the ceremony. This virtual celebration should be no different. So if you're wearing a cap now, um, make sure there's nothing that you can break around you. On the count of three, we're going to toss it high into the air and then um, take, get someone to take a photo so we can share that on social media. So if you're ready, we'll get our caps and we're going to do the countdown. One, two, three. There you go. So now that you have graduated from Portage College, please remember that you will always be part of our family. We encourage you to remain part of our family by joining our alumni program. And by the way, you received an invitation to join in your convocation package. We want to keep in touch with you and we can't wait to see where your Portage credentials will take you. And we can't wait to start bragging about you. Family and friends, thank you for helping to celebrate this afternoon. Your support is what makes success possible. Graduates, remember to take the time to show your appreciation to your families and friends for their support. Let's give them a round of applause. And last but most important, we are proud of you, your accomplishments, and especially the perseverance and resiliency you demonstrated this past year to achieve your goal. We watched as you struggled with homework, assignments, final exams, not to mention family commitments, bad internet connections, no internet connections, and the list goes on. And yet you persevere to achieve your goal. That is dedication, and that is what it takes to succeed. Best of luck to all of you on your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Portage College Class of 2022.